Hey guys, it's Caliglo here. I'm gonna spend like the next 10 minutes or however long the video takes to maybe break down and go through a couple of what I was thinking when I was doing this. Now granted, I did peak Immortal 2, but I'm currently Ascendant 3 fighting for my fucking life because I cannot aim. Um, you'll come to find that out in a lot of these clips that I'm not that good, but what really can win games is just playing things smart or really dumb when you need to because sometimes the dumbest plays work that's why like you'll see people struggling with smurfing in like silver because like silver players don't know what they're doing sometimes if i don't know what i'm doing then they don't know what i'm doing because you know art of war shit you know so all right let's get into this fucking breakdown yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so for this first clip, we're gonna be pushing A. I see Jet is ready to go, so I'm gonna run up with her. I can see the rest of my team's going hell, so I'm gonna go long so we can double up. Smoke's down so she can continue going in. They ult us off, and I can see that uh, Cypher's backside, so I'm just gonna start spamming this, trying to get some damage to trade. Trade that kill, walk up. I need to get Spike down here. Let's molly this off so they can't push through, and then... I'm gonna try and plant here. I'm gonna stay here because we don't really have anything to watch. Get the smoke back down on heaven. Um, I'm gonna hear this drone coming through, so I'm gonna alt it because he can't move while he's doing that. And then swing off of the alt. So for most of the time, I like to use Brim ult when Sova is doing something, whether it's his drone or his alt. But right there the first thing i thought was uh we are down three to two i gotta make a play here so i'm gonna try and alt and get a free kill happen to get the jet okay for this next clip i can see that there's pushing into cypher it is nine zero so obviously we're probably gonna lose this but i know people are pushed up here i don't want to make presence right here right away i'm gonna try and see if i can isolate some ones here so, I'm gonna first look. He's behind the box. I know I lit him, so I can definitely try and wall bang that. The door was swinging, so I'm pretty sure. Yep, someone walked out over there. Take these 1v1s. I can see ahead. I'd rather not take 1v1s when I have, like, in that kind of way. And, yep, everybody lost their 1v1s. I think I blinded him. I didn't blind him, but I'm glad that he just kind of missed there. Got a little lucky on that one. But most of the time, I'm trying to take 1v1s in ways that aren't like just pure skill because obviously I can't do that so that's why a lot of those kills were like through walls or stuff like that all right for this next clip mainly what I hear is we kind of think that they're gonna lean a C heavy I'm right here purely my job is to shoot the gecko flash when it comes through but we get the comm that they're going C, so I'm going to start rotating right away. I had a TP set up. Set up a TP in case things go wrong. Um, I can hear where they're all going. And I'm going to try and walk out here. Because I know that they're all pushing up super heavy. So I'm just trying to walk out here. No sound, no noise. Because I don't. they're not going to expect me here. A little bit of control because I know that... Yep. So, as soon as you shoot and you are sitting behind them, you immediately want to swing because they're not going to be ready for you there. So, I pop those two and immediately try and swing that in order to get those next two because they both had util out. Alright, so for this clip, I'm going to try and hold mid here. Yep, there's a lot mid. I'm going to try and get into an angle because right now we don't have anyone down here. I'm going to molly this off and run and gun. Just run and gun. Dies of that. Swap off. Push up with my jet. So, if there's a lot of people coming at you, don't stand still. Don't stand still. You're going to lose. So, I have a Spectre running gun gun. So, I just whip it. I, I'm, I'm a Ferrari. It's a little bit of luck, but, you know, fuck it. We have 30 bullets. Some of them are going to hit. Okay, so right here, we're trying to hold on to this bomb. I know that my KJ is throwing up uh, swarm grenades, so I'm going to keep throwing these flashes, just trying to prevent them from pushing us. Throw another molly, because that's going to come up soon. Now i got to try and win some ones here. Hit a good headshot. I know she's lit. All right, now I just don't grab the gun. I just have to get him off spike. Sweet. 
Grab the gun. Wide whip it. Ferrari whip those. So. A lot of the times, what I see is a lot of people like to just wide swing. Just jiggle that thing. Jiggle that thing and just keep shooting. Okay? Um, and also make sure you space out your mollies. So I know she has mollies and I have a molly. So I'm just kind of waiting there. I let hers go off and then mine. And then I just keep trying to hold the push up. So here, we just got a kill, we're on site. I'm gonna wall bang this because I think someone's sitting back here. Yep, there is somebody. He is an Odin, so I don't know if I really want to take that fight. Uh, I need to get the fuck out of here. So I'm gonna wall this off and go back in main. Cause I'm just gonna get spammed by that fade if I stay there. But trip this off, get up the camera. That way I know that nobody's pushing up on me and I also have this. Our KO loses his 1v1 and I don't know what Asher is doing, but she was out there participating. You can still get some info from Ko, but he doesn't really see much. So now, I'm going to destroy this. They get, aren't pushed up on me. They wall me off. I'm going to tag that. I know she's playing to the right. So I'm going to take this and then just push it because she's almost out of time. I happened to kill her. If I didn't kill her, she would have ran out of time because I forced her off spike. So that's a good way of playing that 1v1, trying to isolate it. So, for this next clip, I'm not gonna lie, some of this is luck. This is some luck. You gotta be a lucky player sometimes, okay? So, we're trading one for one, right? Not bad. Um, we know that there's another at least on this site. So, we're gonna push up here. I gotta make sure I'm following in time with my team. That way we can take 2v1s. Get this plant down. We are down one. So, get this stim beacon out so we can hold. I hear someone in heaven, so I'm gonna re-smoke that. Maybe shoot it a couple times so they know that someone's watching it or get some lucky damage. Alright, we get one trade. Alright, they're coming out. So I'm going to start whiffing. Go for a right click jiggle. Someone shot me in the back, so I got to isolate a one. Took this and then got super lucky on another right click. Um, but that wouldn't have been possible if I didn't play it in a way that allowed me to take those ones. Say, so Make sure you're isolating ones and not taking like two V1s. Okay, so this is gonna start off with me just spamming through smoke. My brim pops off, gets three, right? Now it's a 2v1. I'm pretty sure my KJ wants to ult here. So I'm gonna try and stall off the plant. I know he's not back there anymore. So he might be top. Oh, I don't wanna take this one. I know that we have a KJ coming up here. Yep, there's the ult. It's gonna force her to do something here. She's gonna push one of us. Probably going to be the KJ. I'm just jiggling to get information. Try and trade that. Oh, it's about to run out of time. Yep, detained. I don't have to push the one there. And then I do some questionable activities. But it's okay. Um, grab the ob. Try and save. There, I just knew that she was going to run out of time. So I just have to make sure if she's going to peek my K uh, KJ, I'm going to try and trade. Otherwise, I'm going to play back. Let it run out of time. I thought you said, so, like, three seconds. Alright, so I found myself in a 1v4, right? They're gonna try and ask for pull me. I know there's people on site. I take this duel, lose it, try and take it again at a shallower angle. That guy throws because sometimes people just throw in 1v4s. So, swap over to a gun with full ammo. I'm gonna wait here, just dead silence, because I'm thinking this Sage is gonna try and res. Luckily, Sky to Flash doesn't see me, so Sage probably is going to come up and res here. And there it is. Take that trade. Get the other one. Put up wall. I know the Sky is playing up here, so honestly, he's going to think I'm going sight, so I'm going to push this. Yep. Catch him completely with his pants down. This dude was... What is he doing, bro? So... Just memorizing kind of where everybody's at and trying to play accordingly. Take 1v1s, not wide swinging. And that's going to be it for the clips that I got today. I have a bunch more, and if I get some good feedback, I might do this again. I just wanted to change it up and try a different style of a video. And honestly, I haven't really posted much. I have a lot of clips. I just haven't been motivated or... And I, it's a combination of like not being motivated and getting a little busy in my, my job life. So 
right now I'm trying to find a, a format that kind of makes me unique. Because I kind of do what everybody else does. So I wanted to try something uh, different out for this video. Maybe a little bit more educational. That way I can try and create something that goes along with my play style and create like informational and like unique videos that people might like. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I might be apt to do this again. Thank you.